Hi there, Will Coombe speaking and welcome to this very quick five minute tutorial on how to use Majestic.com. Majestic is my absolute favourite link research tool. It's the only tool you're going to uh, need to use uh, for assessing the link profile of your own website and your website competitors. Majestic.com does offer a free product. Um, you are limited to the amount of searches that you can do and you're li also limited to, to certain information regarding the topic of websites, um, but you can be used for free however I would absolutely recommend you make this small investment into this monthly uh, monthly plan um, to get the uh, full version which uh, gives you so much information that's going to be able to help you on your way to ranking websites so here we are majestic.com is the the, uh, the home page uh, and what we're going to do we're just going to put in a Google web search London architects uh, and we're going to assess uh, pretend that we have an architecture website and we're going to assess our competition. So London Architects, this is page one. Let's scroll down and find a website near the top. So architectureforlondon.com, that sounds good to me. And we can go back to the Majestic toolbar, place the domain in there and press search. And we are presented with a whole host of information regarding architectureforlondon.com's backlink profile and off-page optimization. So the summary page is the only real page that you're going to need. We can click on the backlinks for a further to, to assess every single backlink coming to this website, but the summary website should be suffice. We have two main metrics, trust flow, citation flow. Trust flow, uh, as if we hover over it, can it tells you, but it basically uh, relates to how, how trustworthy uh, Majestic and really Google uh, thinks that your or the website that you've put into the Site Explorer is. Anything above 10 is okay, anything above 20 is good, anything above 30 is very good and it goes on from there uh, until you know you get very high and exceedingly uh, trustworthy within Google. Citation flow relates to basically the power of a website, it's the quality and quantity of the inbound link profile and uh, relates as I said to the power. We want to make sure that the trust flow is pretty much near or higher than the citation flow. If we have a, a massive difference where the citation flow is much higher than the trust flow, it usually means that uh, a website is, uh, is, is been um, exposed to spam links. So a lot of links, uh, a lot of powerful links, but not the links that come from uh, untrustworthy sources and therefore uh, may be looked, uh, look, looked on by Google as spammy. So uh, we can see in the case of Architects for London, high trust flow above citation flow, citation flow all, also high. Straight away we can see that this is a good quality website. Referring domains refers to the amount of different websites across the internet pointing to the website Architecture for London and the backlinks of course relates to the individual backlinks pointing to that website also. We scroll down, we can see the homepage title there, scroll down and we can see uh, the different um, uh, backlink uh, information, we've got the breakdown uh, with regard to what kind of links they are, whether they're text, uh, images, redirects, uh, and we've also got whether they have the uh, rel tag follow uh, or no follow. So we would expect a natural site to be, the majority would be follow links, uh, but you should see some no follow links in there as well. The majority of the links are going to be text links, uh, which is the case for this, uh, but we also have some images and some redirects there as well. We can have a look on the right hand side to see the anchor text, so the actual uh, words that are used for the, uh, the links to the website. Um, and this is a great uh, tool to, or graphic, great pie chart to uh, immediately assess if we think this is a spammy website or not. The majority of the anchor, uh, anchor text for a natural website are going to be branded. So Architecture for London, that's the name of the website. Architecture for London, architectureforlondon.com, the URL, the naked URL, uh, and then the rest being sort of made up 34% uh, of other anchor text, which is what we'd like to see. Scroll down, we can actually have a look at the individual backlinks. Majestic uh, ranks the backlinks in order of uh, importance and what it thinks is most trustworthy and powerful. Uh, and the top one, uh, Roundhouse Design, we can click on that if we want uh, and have a look at the different uh, websites that are linking to our website. Um, but the top five it will show in this summary page. And then, as I said, we can actually click on um, uh, the, the backlinks uh, tab to have a more detailed look at that. 
Um, so, uh, just to give you an idea of what uh, a very powerful site looks like, I've put the bbc.com in here. Absolute huge trust flow, absolute huge citation flow. They're more or less the same. Uh, and the topic is arts and television, arts, radio, news and media. So we know that this that's an incredibly natural site. And look at the referring domains, absolute thousands. We've got educational domains, governmental doma uh, domains pointing to this website. And of course, we can scroll down and we can see the anchor text uh, pro profile as well as we did in the previous one. Uh, so I'll give you an idea of what looks like a spammy website. Uh, we have a trust flow, very low trust flow of seven, high, higher citation flow of 20. We can scroll down. We can have a look at the anchor text. There's a lot of Chinese writing, uh, UG outlets. So obviously very spammy websites uh, uh, pointing to this website and therefore we can see that it's spammy. So there we go. A very quick uh, um, tutorial on SEO Majestic or Majestic.com and uh, good luck in your backlink research.